Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. It's Francois Campbell. I greet you all in the peace of the Lord. Just wanted to talk to you guys quickly, you know, because I love you all with the love of Christ, and time is short. You know, and I have a family and I have kids, and I wouldn't want to see that the devil, the devil, you know, captivate them with his tricks and his snares. Um, I wouldn't want to see no one in my family being tricked into going to hell. The Bible says that the people are lost because of lack of knowledge, not just sin, just knowledge of what sin is. Um, and I just wanted to tell you guys, you know, to be careful, look after your families. Amen. Um, you know, Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5, actually chapter 4, let's see what it says, <coughs> excuse me, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11 says, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful work of darkness, but rather reprove them. I have no fellowship with the works of darkness. And many of us, well, not me anymore, I stopped watching TV, but a lot of us, when a lot of you brothers and sisters out there, when you come in from work and you want to relax, you put on a movie, you put on EastEnders, amen, you put on the soaps, TV programming, and a lot of these TV programs that are programming you have a lot of sex, violence, witchcraft, pornography, um, blaspheme against God, the list goes on, amen, and these are the devil's devices, amen, you can't have God in you and sit and watch a movie that's about murder and rape and sex and all manner of sin, your spirit should be provoked, you should even be comfortable with it. And the devil has somehow, with his smart self, made it so normal for society. You're considered a weirdo if you're not watching the latest TV program or the latest TV show. But there's men walking around in shirts, women looking at them lusting. Women walking around in short skirts and see-through tops and tight dresses and men are just sitting there looking lusting. Then you got these movies, these evil movies, these horror movies, these violent movies. They don't glorify God. And the Bible says bad manners corrupts good manners. So how are you going to watch these things and expect it not to contaminate your soul? Do you know the old time Christians used to call the TV the devil's box? Because everything on there was the opposite of what God said. And a lot of people today and personalities that people have and fashion trends that people have, they're taking it from the television. Their hairstyles, a lot of things that they do. And it's not programming you the right way, brothers and sisters. The Bible says that there should be only one mediator between man and God, and that is Christ. Look at social media. The devil don't hide what he's doing. What is the mediation between social media and God? There ain't none. Apart from the odd one and two people that are trying to use social media to preach the word of God. And the rest is just media in between the devil and man. When the Bible says there should only be one mediator between man and God and that's Christ. Amen. And even so, like it says here, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. You should push these things away. You shouldn't welcome it in has become a norm in society. Amen. If you look at 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 says, "Lest Satan should get an advantage over us, for we are not ignorant of his devices." How you going to let Satan have an advantage over you? Because the word says, "We are not ignorant of his devices." Amen. I understand that the devil comes to kill, steal and destroy, so he wants to separate parents, have broken families. Now, a woman, a single mom or a single dad can't cook and clean whilst watching the TV, a child. 
So instead of organizing the time properly, what they do is stop the child in front of the TV so they can go and cook. Stop the child in front of the TV so they can go and clean. What is this TV teaching your children? All of these cartoons, if they don't promote lies, promote violence. I mean, I didn't, I wasn't always like this. It was after the God, God showed me these things because to bond with my daughter, I would sit with her and watch Peppa Pig. And then I realized in one episode that somebody in the cartoon told a lie. They found out about the lie. They all laughed and it ended. No one didn't say lying was wrong. Then I'm wondering where this, 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 this attitude from my daughter keep telling me lies and then telling me, I tricked you daddy, I tricked you. No baby girl, that was a lie. Don't tell a lie, God don't like it. So you're here teaching your children not to lie and cartoons are teaching them to lie. Violence, Power Rangers, fighting, Ninja Turtle, fighting. Excuse me, Tom and Jerry, not getting along with somebody because you're different. Like, the devil knows what he's doing with these TV programs and these cartoons. Amen? We have to wake up, brothers and sisters, and take back our children from the devil. We have to take back our children from the government and from the school system. Amen? These schools have your children reading books that's about witchcraft. You think the devil won't have a claim to them for that? Witches and... And, and what's, what's the other one? My daughter was reading one called... I remember what it's called. Roald Dahl. That's it. Roald Dahl. That's all about witches and witchcraft and cauldrons. Little children shouldn't be reading these things. Adults shouldn't even be reading these things. They don't want to teach your children how to masturbate. They want to have boys and girls sharing the same toilets. They want to have, have, have people coming in that are transgenders to explain to kids. Not because you was born a boy, you have to be a boy. You can be a girl if you want to. How did they ever not using the school system as well to have a claim to our children? I mean, look at, look at these cartoons now. Pokemon. Digimon. Both of those are about witchcraft. Doing spells, capturing spirits in little things and casting spells. Listen, then it goes on. Batman, Demon, Spider-Man, Demon, Iron Man. All these mans and Digimon and Pokemon and all. It goes on and on and on and on. These are demons in colorful form. Then your kids run around, they want to take the identity of these things. All these little princesses. Cinderella, well, well not Cinderella. Sleeping Beauty locked in a tall tower away from everybody. Waiting for a man to come and save her. Then these brutal young girls grow up and all they can think about is I need a man to cook for me. I need a man to clean for me. I need a man to make me happy. God make you happy. You cook for yourself and you make yourself happy. Plus the witchcraft behind it. Then you have this um the next one with the seven dwarves, Snow White. There's one girl walking around with seven men. And the midget dwarves are ancient fallen angels. These things are in history. Look it up. I'm not saying every short person now is is that's that's a, that's that's a height challenged is a is a demon, but in history, these dwarves they were demons. Now, seven dwarves of snow white. Listen, brothers and sisters, this stuff is not godly. Oh, but it's just cartoon, brother Francois. There's no harm behind it, really. There's more harm behind it than you can imagine. Remember, the devil transformed himself into an angel of light. He ain't gonna come with a cartoon with two red horns and an evil fork. He gonna come smiling in lots of colours, his sugar-coated suicide tablets. Then you put your daughters in these little dresses and give them the little magic fairy stick. And they get addicted to it. And if you don't buy them the present and the cake, on the, they're mad at you. Little boys want to be Spider-Man. We need to understand that these are the devil's devices to get a hold and a claim to our children. The word of God says it. Lest Satan should have an advantage over us. For we are not ignorant to his devices. Alice in Wonderland. Um... The, 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 that one where they go through the closet and they end up in like Narnia Prince of Persia 
All these principalities and demonic and witchcraft. Oh my dear brothers and sisters, please. Get your sons and your daughters. Get your husbands and your wives and your brothers and sisters away from this media thing. They are not mediating between us and God. They are mediating between us and between the devil and man. And the Bible says there should be only one mediator between man. And that should be Christ. And he will mediate between us and God. These video games, fighting, violence. Look at Grand Theft Auto. Why would you make a video game where you can grow up, kill, steal, rob? Go on missions that you get paid to rob and kill people. And these are the video games. These are programming these kids. That's why you have a lost society right now. The boys and girls of young ages are in gangs. Even girls now. Hooded up, carrying weapons. Willing to go and risk their life or to... Go and put themselves in prison over foolishness. I'm asking you brothers and sisters, open your eyes, wake up, look into these things. Look into what your kids are addicted to watching on the TV. There's violence in these cartoons. There's lying. There's witchcraft in these cartoons. Then the adults are watching the same things on TV. Witchcraft, voodoo, war, sex, violence. Then the Bible said we possess the gates of our enemies. What goes in defiles who we are. What's a gate? How you enter a house. Where's the house? Our body. Where's the gates? Our eyes. Our ears. What we smell and what we say and our genitals are also gates. But I'm talking about what we're watching and what we're listening to. We have to be careful brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. These kids are being taught right from wrong younger than we are trying to teach them as parents because of media. Because of YouTube, because of because of um these what they what they're on, dweeb. I don't even know what social chats these kids have. We had like Skype and stuff. They don't stop at Facebook. They have many chats where they can skip who they like and go to the next one. They could download music, they can get onto YouTube, Facebook. They they are in this social media. And this media is not mediating between them and God. It's mediating between the devil and God. Between the devil and man. All of these cartoonic things you see with the, with the, with the, with the, with the flying and the shooting fires out their hand, Dragon Ball Z. All these things are demonic. Batman, Spider-Man, Pokemon, Digimon, Iron Man. All these things are not godly. Get your children away from these things. Stop letting them play with these toys and wearing these outfits. Halloween. Celebrating the day of the dead. Dressing up your kids as monsters and bringing them out to... Listen, we need to wake up. Jesus is coming back soon. We ain't got time for this foolishness no more. I'm just talking to you guys right now. I'm saying, I love you and I love, I love God's people. I love all the sons and daughters of Zion. Amen. I love all the brothers and sisters. There's nothing that I'm not telling you right now that I'm not trying to do with my personal life. Because wide is the gate to destruction and narrow is the gate to salvation. Do you really think it's going to be that easy to get to heaven? Do you really think if Jesus was on earth today, he would be sitting here, cut cut like this, say, yeah, let's watch some, let's, let's, let's watch some, some, some Avengers. Jesus wouldn't be into that stuff. Do you really think if, 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 if Mary was here, she would be like, yeah, let's watch another love island with all these naked people walking around. Do you really think that the angels are actually here in human form doing what they're doing they'll be sitting in front of your t in front of a tv when they're not working for us just watching merlin or harry potter or reading books about witches and wizards these things are not godly we need to stop now i could go on for hours but you know what i'm gonna leave it there I was asking brothers and sisters, go to the Lord and ask the Lord, what are you doing that is upsetting your spirit? What are you doing that is of the devil and not of God? Reveal to you the things of this world that are the devil's traps. 
The Bible says mankind are lost because of lack of knowledge. Knowledge of what sin is. Let's see here, Second Corinthians 2.11 Lest Satan should have an advantage over us for we are not ignorant of his devices. A lot of us are touching things that the devil was consecrated to the devil to trap us, to make us not want to read the Bible, not want to pray, not want to go to church, not want to serve God properly and then when Jesus comes back, what happens? This is why he said he's going to tell people, depart from me, I never knew you. Because if you know God and you have God in your spirit, you cannot be comfortable with these things. I pray God bless you all and fill you with the power of the Holy Spirit to reveal to you the things that are of God and that are not of God. That you may be prepared by the love and grace of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit to walk with holiness. Have your garment without spot or blemish so that when Jesus comes back to rapture his church, you will be counted worthy to go to heaven. Have a helmet of salvation and hear the Lord tell you, well done, my faithful servant. In Jesus' name. Amen. Because you don't want to hear, depart from me. I never knew you. I pray you don't hear that. In Jesus' name. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Wake up, parents. Wake up, brothers and sisters. Open your eyes. Time is short. Jesus love you. I love you. God bless you all.